Detecting COVID-19 variants in wastewater has become faster and less expensive as well, with a new method that's been developed by SMART researchers. That's an acronym for Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology. Now, the method enables researchers to detect the alpha variant more effectively. It's also more sensitive and can be used to good effect in diluted or mixed wastewater samples. The team is now working on ways to detect and quantify the Delta variant, which is driving soaring infection rates in countries the world over. For a closer look, we're joined now by Dr. Li Wei Lin. She's research scientist from the Antimicrobial Resistance Interdisciplinary Research Group at SMART. Dr. Li, how, you know, would you go about detecting these viruses in samples? Uh, so this method that we developed at SMART, uh, which is MIT research enterprise in Singapore, is really straightforward. So we start with a wastewater sample, and we concentrate it, and then we extract the genomic material out of it, and then we uh, test it for SARS-CoV-2 variants. So this is actually very similar to the PCR test that we run for swabs, except that uh, for this method, uh, we are able to discriminate the genetic mutations that are carried in the viral genome. So, and then we can effectively quantitate uh, the proportion of a particular variant of interest in a wastewater sample. So the idea then is to detect a COVID-19 variant. So why is that significant? Uh, so as in the headlines, like for alpha variant, it's known to be um, more infectious and it can cause more severe disease. And this year we have the Delta variant that's all over the headlines. So the emergence of all this uh, different variants of concerns meant that uh, there is uh, actually a practical need for stakeholders, for agencies who do wastewater surveillance to actually find out what is in what is spreading in the community in order for them to um, be able to better advise or preempt and make better public health decisions. Dr. Lee, tell us something about the current challenges that are faced when attempts are made to detect these variants in wastewater? Actually, uh, variant detection in wastewater is really challenging for two reasons. Uh, one is that the viral signal in wastewater is really dilute. And secondly, um, the viral signal can be very degraded. And thirdly, wastewater is actually a composite of um, contribution from many different people. So let me elaborate on this. So um, when a person shits um, um, RNA signal into wastewater, it's actually diluted in a lot of water. The ones that we use for showering, the ones that we use for water, uh, washing and, and other uh, activities around in the home. And to be able to detect the viral signal in this wastewater means that we actually need a very, very sensitive assay. And also uh, the viral uh, signal is degraded because of all these detergents in wastewater. And being a pulled sample, we need something that is um, very specific, very sensitive. And here in SMART, we've managed to do that. Um, to come up with a highly sensitive, specific, and uh, very quantitative assay for tracking exactly how much of what variant we have in a particular wastewater sample. And is this new method then deployed here in Singapore and under what settings? Uh, so um, we are under discussion with local agencies to deploy here in Singapore, but currently the method is being used by Biobot Analytics, which is a global leader in wastewater epidemiology in the United States. Um, so this method has been used to track uh, and quantitate uh, SARS-CoV-2 variants in uh, wastewater across many states in the US. Thanks very much for your thoughts this evening. Dr. Li Wei Lin, research scientist from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology.